Gatelo ero danjo Eji gombo nene Bitinya ro gambo telo ero danjo Eji gombo nene Women are the backbone of every society But Kanyondero Women's Group reaches all the way from the backbone straight to our hearts These women have withstood the test of time and are a testament to the power of community kikundi yetu tulianza mwaka wa 2012 tulikuwa watu wa 15 hapo tulikuwa tunafanya table banking na njugu pia tulikuwa tunalima ikifika mwezi wa 2014 tuka register kama women group and in called the page group kanyodero alfario kapaga ngwe These women are actively involved in the peanut butter business from farming to extraction to marketing. Unajua huko kitambo tulikuwa tunaivuna tu hivi tunatafuna tukisha karanga. Hata kwa tunajua za zingine hii njugu ikikarangwa ikisiagwa inaweza kukuwa peanut butter. Hata inaweza kutoa mafuta. Sasa kwa vile tulipata mashini tukafundishwa kutumia hiyo mashini tukaanza kufanya value addition sasa tulifundishwa bila tunaweza fanya value addition ya kurembesha njugu hizi tuongeze bei yake. Kanyondero Women Group is one of the uh, groups we have worked with. Uh, we, we have worked uh, we have uh, helped them in collaboration with other stakeholders like us at Kenya. Uh, basically they, they approached us. They said uh, they had an idea they were they wanted to do value addition on groundnuts and there, there, were, there were many farmers in migori uh, district at that time and homabi district who were producing uh, groundnuts and they were selling them at throwaway prices so the the uh, kanyadero women group had uh, an idea of uh, intervening in uh, value addition so that uh, their partners would get more from their government production enterprises founded more than 10 years ago as a youth group kanyondero women's group has mastered the art of building together tulianza kama youth group ikifika mwaka wa 2016 tuka register kama women group na hiyo certificate yetu ya youth group tutakawaacha watoto wa youth group like a red bean in a pot of peas this young man stood out but for all the right reasons as a youth what motivated me to join Kanyodero PGS at first when they came I took a shortest time just to listen to what they were teaching and I realized that the information from them was so important to me and it uh, led me as a member of Kanyodero to do something in future so second round when they came when I attended the, the training uh, we obtained many things from them Irubuna one again wala sonjugu wako monjugu wapuru njugu kende wako mo kwase kome wase nje kwase sinje twa moyi kwase moyi totuo kwase tuo twa poke kwase poke tukuru wadwa chiele kwase chiele wa rege kwase rege Okay, lo no amo moya lo te doka lot. Mudo wangiyo, watero wangiyo we duka. Eka kwa tiyo kodi. Girubwane, wane reuruk. Wakano pesa, wapogo be mara pagareya. Kaka wati. There are times that group members have to purchase the groundnuts required to make peanut butter 
But more often than not, these enterprising women grow the groundnuts themselves. Although most of the groundnuts actually come from Tanzania and Uganda, but uh, over time we are producing more groundnuts than, than we used to do 10 years ago. Just like maize, groundnuts are an early season crop and must be grown at the onset of the rains. This crop also requires well-drained soils, although groundnut farming can also be properly grown in clay soil. I believe that uh, apart from irrigation, climate smart agriculture, uh, we can make use we can make better use of this rain because this is one of the the, 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 the more rainfall blessed sub counties and the counties yet apart from towards the lake Nyatike sub county but all the way wrong to to Tanzania to the couriers we have very good rainfall the process of making peanut butter is an intricate and delicate one to make peanut butter peanuts are harvested shelled roasted, blanked, and grounded up into a delicious creepy paste. Sasa, hapa, tunachagua njugu, tungaangalia izile mabaya, tunatoa, mawe, ile iko na... Unajua saa ile tunatoa kwa samba, saa ingine izingine izinakuwa na cut. This is a a I'm at 24 kgs. That's how I'm going to go to Shunguza. I'm going to go to Shunguza. For 15 to one hour. This can be done either manually or through mechanized cultivation and harvesting which has greatly improved the efficiency of the production process. We could only get uh, peanut butter in the, in the supermarket, and that was coming from elsewhere. It was not coming from Migori. But right now, some of the supermarkets, when you go there, you get our, our very own peanut butter. So I, I believe that is a, a success. Even though the manufacture of peanut butter is not as easy as it seems, the delicious results are worth their weight in monetary, health, and communal value. Health-wise, it's good. As compared to other issues, chemicals, chemicals. The group members have been empowered, and uh, most of them are uh, now self-reliant. They don't need to call us morning and evening, asking several questions. We need money, we need what. They are now becoming sustainable. The Kanyundero Women's Group ensures that they have a clean product free from aflatoxin and other dangerous additives. You will wake up, Sana. Ah, aflatoxin. Straight away. I can't, Sana. We advise farmers about post harvest for our handling because that is the critical area where uh, aflatoxin gets you. Aflatoxin can can occur in uh, all types of grains, be they groundnuts, beans, rice, uh, wheat and maize. So our peanut butter is very safe. Peanut butter produced in such a clean environment is high in potassium as well as protein which lowers the risk of high blood pressure, stroke and heart disease. People like organic food because of the health, health related diseases that we normally experience like the cancer, ulcers, ulcers, blood pressure. This delicious commodity also contains fiber for your bowel health, healthy fats, magnesium to fortify your bones and muscles. <laughs> 
inatengenezwa na maziwa na ndimi ile kali. Hii uji ya huyu mama mmekunya ni uji mzuri mmechanganywa na njugu. Ishapoesho kinywa nasikia mwili iko sawa kabisa iko na nguvu. Kila mahali hata nguvu za kiume unakuanga sawa. Peanut butter is also rich in vitamin E and antioxidants which help prevent diseases. Despite the peanut butter business being so lucrative, the Kanyondero Women's Group has faced a variety of obstacles such as electrical blackouts, lack of storage facilities, difficulty in rotating the roasting machine manually, among others. Kama tukisiaga njugu, inafaa tuweke maji kwa beseni hivi ndio tuingishe hiyo tini na njugu ipoeshe. Inafaa tupate kula eh, ya kupoesha njugu. Ingene ni nyumba store. Pale ni kidogo na pia tuko kwa road reserve. Inafaa tupate nyumba yetu ile inatutosha na bidhaa zetu zote. E, ingine ni power backup. Najua kama wateja wako wengi kwa nyumba, za zingine stima imeenda. Sasa wanasubiri, stima ikikosa hiyo the whole day, sasa hizo nini za njugu zao zitalala hapo hiyo itafaa waru, warudi. Lakini kama tuko na power backup, stima ikienda, masini bado inafanya tu. We gave the group the machine, but where they operate currently is very small than the capacity of the machine. The space is very small and now it's a factory. A factory needs even source of water. It's not there. Where they have built their premise is, a, is also a road reserve. However, with the help of organizations such as Pelham, these women are learning to overcome such challenges. Kwa vile wametuletea training ya organic, na wametufundisha wame tunajua kutengeneza compost manyiwa na hii liquid. Pia wametufundisha hata ukienda kuchagua mbegu, ukitaka kununua mbegu, walituambia ukipata ili imewekwa rangi, hiyo iko na chemical. When we were using inorganic method of farming before, you could see that our farms they will lose their fertility quickly and the organic method uh, for example compost manure you see when that manure is when you take after preparing it then you take it to your shamba it will last long mwame tufundisha ta vile unaweza kupanda begu kwa shamba hata kama kuna udongo wa maji na pareka chini walitufundisha unaweza kupanda gabions ama terrace hili izuie udongo isiteremke kuenda chini participatory ecological land use management or pelam works hand in hand with kanyondero women's group to facilitate the peanut butter manufacturing process we trained them after training we saw it was a very potential group to support so within our project we had that component of buying machines and supporting the groups so we supported the group with a peanut butter processing machine This network of civil society organizations and NGOs works together with small-scale farmers in 10 African countries to promote agricultural, entrepreneurial, and networking opportunities for local organic farmers. I've been able to network with several partners, like the county government, churches, Pelham, Kenya, different stakeholders. They are now known. We give them advice. Uh, occasionally we also give them inputs to ensure food security and uh, to also ensure that they get money from their agricultural enterprises. Pelham is synonymous with value addition, seeking to bring about innovative and marketable ways for local farmers to maintain visibility and sustainability. The income they have been getting from the group they have, uh, they are able to educate their children. Some have gone through universities, through colleges, secondary school. They can attest to that. Kama mimi ni mesaida kudika sana kwa ile table backing tukikuwa tunafanya. 
na zile tumepata kidogo kidogo kwa profit ya njugu nilipeleka naye mtoto shuleni akagraduate last year Value addition goes a long way in creating opportunities for farmers to improve on the marketing of organic agriculture products far beyond the local level. PGS is participatory guaranteed system. So it's a system that allows farmers to be, get organic certification and get organic mark, the Kilimo High mark. For PGS alone, the certified group is allowed to sell within East Africa. So getting that certificate will allow the Canyodero group to sell within East Africa. That will be a very big market. Dr. Letu, tunataka hii pinati yetu yende kwa supermarket na hiyo certificate ya organic. Kwa sababu training tumesha fanya, tumemaliza hiyo certificate sasa ndio tunaongea sasa tunaomba Mungu akitujalia hata njugu yetu ifike Ulaya tutafutie suko ya organic kwa sababu pinati yetu ni organic through strategic marketing positioning farmers not only receive what they are due but are able to make a substantial profit that changes their lives as well as the lives of the community as a whole if you look at the way they used to eat, the eating style, the balanced diet have changed and their health is really good currently because of the education they have gotten from ASEP and ELAM on organic and uh, that has enabled them as a, has drawn attention from the neighboring community to get so much interest in uh, their food. And now they are uh, doing outside catering, organic catering within the functions that uh, usually come within Migori County. They are invited. Pelham also empowers the group through seminars, capacity building, helping them source for machines, and so much more. We identified some gaps that the group needed to have uh, some uh, barcode and even organic certification so that the project product can reach the supermarket and even the larger markets so there was that gap so when Pelham came in they supported the group through barcodes several trainings on organic group dynamics composting pest and disease control and uh, even PGS certification. Other organizations such as the Agricultural Community Empowerment Program or ACAP step in to give much needed leg up to community-based projects such as these. ASEP uh, has been working within Migori and Homer Bay counties, but we've supported 40 groups and one of them is being Kanyodero Women Group. The government has done its part but needs to do much more to assist locally based groups and farmers. They have been working very closely with the Ministry of Agriculture and uh, they have gotten some funding from the Ministry of Agriculture. It, it is called under program of Njamarufuku Kenya. They were supported and also uh, we have a program for women, Women Enterprise Fund. They have also been supported from that department. Ministry of Social and uh, Gender, Social and Services, they have uh, been supported so far. The Kanyondero Women's Group knows that they can only empower their lives and those of their community by selling their peanut butter through the proper channels. If you move uh, in Rongo Town, especially the bus stage, you'll see the fruits of their labor. A lot of uh, girls and women have, have, have had employment courtesy of selling um, uh, peanut butter. It has wide uses. We, we use it apart from uh, using it on bread. We, we, uh, it's also used uh, in, uh, as a source in food preparation. So it is something that whose market is uh, 
is very wide. Increased production has led to the financial growth of the group as well as increased markets. Through determination, hard work and participatory organizations, the story of Kanyondero Women's Group is fortunate to have a happy ending, even climbing the ranks to become the second best in the region. Getting Kilimohai Mark is an achievement and that is a bravo to Pelham Kenya. It has not been very easy. And uh, Kanyondero is the second group in Nyanza to get that organic mark. Eat stronger peanut butter, stay strong and healthy. It is up to stakeholders, the government and private interest groups to put their money where their mouths are and give these innovative women a taste for success. <laughs>